Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use RGB values to color elements. Another way you can represent colors in CSS is using RGB values. RGB value for black looks like this, RGB, and then in parentheses it's got a zero, zero, zero separated by commas. RGB value for white looks like this, RGB, and then it's 255 separated by commas three times. Instead of using six hexadecimal digits, you can, uh, like you do with hex code, <clears throat> with RGB, you specify the brightness of each color with a number between 0 and 255. If you do the math, the two digits for one color equal 16 times 16, which gives us 256 total values. So RGB, which starts counting from 0, has the exact same number of possible values as hex code. Uh, here's an example of how you change the, co the body background to orange using RGB. And it says in the body, if this is a CSS selector, the background color, it goes RGB parentheses 255 comma 165 comma zero. So let's replace the hex code in our body's L background color with RGB value of black, meaning uh, we just go to our background color here and we go RGB zero, zero, zero. And that gives us the black. That's it. This is a quite simple one. The idea with this one is just that the, you, they want you to understand that this is the very similar thing to the hexadecimal number. It's just you write it in a different way with this sort of JavaScript looking thing, the RGB with the, um, with the parentheses. And it's just trying to teach you that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.